you have a BYD Atto 2 and are probably completely satisfied with it. The only thing you're missing is a frunk. And in fact, there's still plenty of room for a huge frunk in this engine bay. We at Frank AT manufacture high quality frunks that you can easily insert and remove. But if there's already a Chinese product available, like here, with the Atto 2, we're also checking the quality of this Chinese product and might even become the general importer for Europe. So let's take a look now to see if this product meets our quality standards. We've already gotten this frunk from China and are now trying to install it here. Yes. As you can see, here are the mounting tabs so we can fit the frunk accordingly. But first you have to remove the entire plastic cover all around. You have to remove this front part. This front part comes off relatively easily. We've already done it, of course. But you have to be careful not to break the plastic clips. But here it still works quite well. With the side elements, as you can see, it's like this. Here, of course, there are also plastic clips attached, four of them. Unfortunately, we lost one. And they are really very difficult to remove. And unfortunately, the risk of these clips breaking is relatively high. So we had to put in some work and actually use a bit of force to get this cover off. And it's the same here. Now we'll place the frunk. roughly into the engine bay. It actually looks pretty good. Of course, you still have to connect it here. Unfortunately though, at this point we've decided not to import the product from China and distribute it in Europe. Why? You have to loosen a few screws, which is still not a problem, and then screw the frunk in place with those screws. The issue we see is that all these screws are marked with paint markers. These markings, a Chinese dealer uses them to keep warranty records. That means if this part or these screws have been opened, it could be that a European dealer can no longer enforce warranty claims with BYD, for example. And that's a no-go for us. As a company, we can't risk a customer losing their warranty claims. Another issue is that the frunk here is resting on the brake fluid reservoir. And if greater loads are applied here, then the weight is also distributed onto this reservoir. And of course, it's not mounted in such a way that it can permanently and reliably handle these loads. So we can't take responsibility for that. Yes, and of course, one issue is that if you go to the workshop, the entire plastic bumper has to be removed again so that you can take out the frunk and access the engine compartment. For example, you also can't easily get to the fuse box, so you always have to dismantle everything again and again. Unfortunately, this led us to decide not to import this product or sell it on the European market. Because as a company, we have to comply with the relevant product guidelines and cannot take on this responsibility. But since this car, the Auto 2, is really a great car in my opinion, and it will generate very good sales figures in Europe, we still want to make a frunk. And the truly great thing is that if we carefully design the frunk from the very beginning, it will have really great dimensions. That means in terms of depth, we're definitely at 43 to 44 centimeters. And it's really going to be great going downward. It will probably be 35 to 38 centimeters because we can also go a bit higher upwards. Then we can use all the available space here and design the frunk in such a way that it can be removed and reinstalled within seconds. As always, our products will be made from a material called ABS V0. Unfortunately, this material is relatively expensive to purchase, but it is flame retardant. And that means we can also carry out TUV certifications. So if you're interested, we're starting product development now. We'll keep you updated and we'll regularly post the product status. Maybe subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you up to date. Yours, Joseph from the company Frank.